Hi everybody, uh, welcome to my garage. Um, I wanted to invite you out to my garage today because I've been working on this project that had absolutely nothing to do with math. Okay, yes, math is involved in everything and every project has got fractions and right angles and parallel lines and stuff like that, yes. Let's just say that this project had nothing to do with teaching math. Um, and then all of a sudden I found myself getting ready to use one of the concepts in calculus. And I've never tried this before, so I thought, why don't we film this and see if this thing is going to work out? So let me give you a, a quick explanation of what it is that I need to do. I need to cut this circle out of this piece of wood. Now, normally, what I would do is use what is called a jigsaw. And a jigsaw is a saw that you, where you can uh, use freehand and you can kind of work your way around a piece of wood, tracing the lines that you have drawn. Um, and I've done that before, and the thing is, is that I'm not really that good with a jigsaw. I'm sure that if I used a jigsaw, it would turn out, you know, fine. It would kind of look like a circle. But I was looking for a better way to do this. And so I did some investigation and found this method where you use a table saw in order to cut a circle. And the first thought that I that I thought had when I saw that this I saw this description was you can't use a table saw to cut a circle. A table saw only cuts straight lines, and a circle doesn't have any straight lines. Um, and then as I started reading into it, it was like, wait, this kind of makes sense. And sure enough, it, I, it's worth us giving it a try. So that's what we are going to do. And before we move on, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and you're like. Dang, that is a perfect circle. How'd that guy draw that? Well, I am a math teacher. I do know how to draw circles. Um, basically what I did was I uh, this circle has got a diameter of 21 inches. So I cut a piece of wood and drilled two holes in it that were 10 and a half inches apart from each other. So that gave me the radius. Um, and then I put a, used a little nail and a pencil in order to draw this circle. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to describe to you how this method is supposed to work and then we're going to try it out and see if it works. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So for those of you that have never seen a table saw before, this is a table saw. Um, it has got a blade right here in the This is not plugged in, by the way. Um, it has got a blade right here in the middle that I can raise and lower. There's a hand crank over on this side that allows me to raise and lower it to whatever height I need. Um, and then when I turn it on, the blade is going to rotate so that the top of the blade is coming towards me. That allows me to push a piece of wood and cut it in a straight line. Now the idea, um, and, and please know that this was not, I did not come up with this. Somebody else came up with it and I read a bunch of blogs and watched a bunch of videos in order to kind of come up with the way that I'm going to do it. Um, I have this piece of wood, this is not the piece of wood that had the circle on it, um, and I attached this uh, small piece of wood here so that it will fit inside of this groove. And it fits in, in such a way that this thing is gonna slide back and forth and it goes right up against the blade that I have here. And then, uh, I'll bring this around so that you can see it. Um, I drew this line uh, going along here. And so the distance between this line and the X that I've drawn right there is 10 and a half inches. That is the radius of the circle that I am trying to cut. So I am going to put, I'm going to keep this thing in the groove and then I'm going to attach my piece of plywood to this knowing that this point and the blade are always going to be exactly 10 and a half inches away from each other. All right, next step. Um, I have attached my piece of plywood uh, and I'll bring this around so that you can see. What I've done is I drilled a hole in the middle of this piece of plywood that's a little bit bigger than this nail. The nail goes through the piece of plywood and attached to the piece of wood that I showed you just before. And it's done in such a way that it's just kind of holding on. The nail is going in there, but since the hole is a little bit bigger than the nail, it allows this thing to spin around. So the idea then, uh, again, we're still, we're not plugged in and, um, and I've lowered the blade, is that I can um, uh, slide this across the blade and cut a line that's tangent to the circle. And there's the calculus concept. And then I'll be able to spin this and cut another line and spin this and cut another line and spin this and cut another line. And so we are going to, uh, we are gonna try this out. Um, I'm super excited to see if this is going to work. It's gonna work, right? I mean, I hope it works. I want it to work. Okay, we're ready to try this out. 
I have everything plugged in. The blade is set at the right height. Uh, safety goggles, and we are ready to try this thing out. Okay, so here we go. Looks like it worked pretty good. Let me bring this around and show it to you. Um, I have got a line that is almost, ex I mean, that is, looks exactly tangent to the circle. So we have got a, uh, I, I'll call it a proof of concept. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, keep going. Okay, I just made a minor adjustment there, realized my blade needed to be a little bit higher. So here is the, here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and do this again and rotate it 90 degrees and do it again, rotate it 90 degrees. I'm just gonna kind of keep rotating it and taking the really big chunks off. And then it should be the case that I just keep getting closer and closer to a circle. Now my calculus book says that if I really want the circle, I'm gonna to have to make an infinite number of cuts. So wow, I wanna be done by dinner time. I better get started. You you realize that was a joke, right? That was a Pretty good joke, I think, actually, because an infinite amount of cuts, I'm not going to be done by dinner time. You, you realize that, right? Good. Okay. Maybe I'll get half of them done. Seems like a good place to stop and uh, check our work. Um, I think I counted 18 cuts, um, and this uh, still does not look like a circle, but wow, is it looking uh, a very, very circular. 18 certainly is not nearly um, close to infinity, but we've got something that is pretty close to a circle. And so it seems reasonable that if we just kind of keep along this path for a little while, we're gonna end up with a pretty good looking circle. I think we have a success. Uh, I totally, well, I was trying to count and I totally lost count, but check out what I have got. That was definitely less than an infinite number of cuts. And that looks really, really, really close to a circle. In fact, I would say that the uh, for the project that I am working on, this is exactly the size circle and exactly the, uh, the accuracy that I needed. So, Thank you for joining me in my garage. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it.